Ladies, welcome back to Perfect 22 for episode 19, I believe. And yes, I know, what is going on? Well, my Fiat was not capable of doing this job in this field. So I waddled over to my neighbor's house, asked him if I could use his John Deere for a few hours. I know, I know, I'm sitting in a John Deere, something's not right here. Doesn't look bad, does it? I have to be honest. I don't hate this. It's a pretty solid machine, I'll be honest. Much more recent than my Fiat. <laughs> Might be interesting to look into this at some point. It is a very expensive machine, though. It's a bit bigger than what I was, you know, expecting. A bit more powerful as well. Oh, we're in the bush. But yeah, it's, uh, it's doing the job. So I'm not, you know, I'm not really angry with this. Um, even though I am constantly talking bad about John Deere. Well, not constantly, but you know, most of the time anyways. I think this is not a bad, um, bad thing that we borrowed it. So yeah, guess, uh, I guess we'll keep doing this. I figured I'd cut this out of a video, but... Eh, might as well record. And probably time-lapse it. Might as well. We haven't had a time-lapse last time. I think the short the video was a bit shorter, maybe. Maybe it wasn't. I still haven't done it. Or edited it. I just finished recording it. And I felt like playing some more. So I might as well just sit here and record this video now. Um... And yeah, we're using the neighbor's tractor today. Which I'm very thankful that he had. And he doesn't need it because, well, his season is done. He doesn't have any animals. He doesn't have any grass fields. He only does grain. And, well, the grain season is pretty much done. So, yep, we get to use it for a bit. See how it goes. And yeah, so let's go and time-lapse this silage um, harvest. Well... I don't know if it's really called a harvest at this point, but we're just going to pick up the the rows, the wind rows that we made a few episodes ago. Whoa, we're jumping. And we're going to put it in the clamp. I'm actually going to bring, I think, the Fiat over to roll onto the... Uh, maybe not. We'll see how this does first. Um, but from what I can tell, we're going to have quite a bit of silage from this. Because this is just the smallest field, and it's a full load of 35,000. So that's not even that bad. But yeah, I'm at, uh, I might ask this neighbor if uh, he has a few more bits of equipment here and there, because this is looking good. I mean, technically, once we sell everything, we can buy our own new tractor. Especially now, which uh, we've just sold the um, cereal plant, or whatever you want to call it, factory. Technically, we could, uh, we have even more money for an upgrade, which is good. Just not quite sure that it's enough for a tractor this size. I, I think it's definitely not, unless we find it very cheap in the sales. We'd have to get lucky with that, though. Used machinery is usually things we don't need, unfortunately. There is one or two tractors in there now, actually. They're not quite good. Right, I'm just going to do another pass on top of it now. Already going to start. Oh, I don't want to break the tractor now, but... Maybe it's a good idea to put the big weight on there, actually. Because the front is going to be jumping quite a bit. All right, I'll bring another load and I'll be time-lapsing the rest of this. So I'll be seeing you in a few minutes. Do you want to stay the night? 
Cause I don't wanna be alone It's been weighing on my mind for too long Too long Do you wanna save a life? Cause I just really need someone I've been barely holding on And I'm still running from my demons I'm still hiding all my secrets And I just need someone
Alright, let's go and put this in the clamp. And then we've got to compact it down as well. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad to do. The clamp did do a little bit of a weird thing where it wouldn't fall towards the... Well, I guess if you face the back of the clamp, it's the left wall. I don't know why, it just made a weird cut. And it wouldn't go past that. It looks kind of cool, but it's wasting some space. See, it's this part here. It wouldn't go past this little bit, and then it just made a big steep wall right here. And then, yeah, I don't know why it did that. Uh, so that's interesting. Guess I'm gonna have to try and compact it down without using that space, which kind of annoying, but it's all right. We'll find a way. Alright, I tried to dump it into the weird the weird hole that I made. A canyon. But it just made a big spike. <laughs> I'm not sure why, I'm telling you, I really don't know why, but whoops. Guess that's fine. I'm gonna have to use this tractor and try to fix that a little bit. Which I'm sure would work just fine anyways. Yeah, we'll make it work. Just getting to 100% will be a little bit annoying. But... I've always made it, made it work, so I don't see really how we could struggle enough so that it doesn't work. I'm sure we'll be fine. Whoops! <laughs> Alright, we've got it to 100%. Blanket it, and good. Those pills. That's almost 400,000. Whoop, I just bounced up. That's almost 400,000 liters in here as well. That's going to be awesome. And now we have to return the beast. The John Deere. I'll clean it off first. For the neighbor, because it is his tractor. Clean that off, and I will call him to tell him that he can come and pick it back up. Um, and that'll be it for this. It's very nice that we got to try a new brand once again. Because, um, yeah, it's been... It's pretty awesome. I don't know that I would buy this, personally, but it's not bad. Alright, it's gone. Um, so now I guess we're gonna have to be sleeping ahead and sell the grain and everything in November. So I'll be getting ready for that in just a second here. But before we do that, oh, they're making me use that tractor. That's funny. Pretty much everything that we already own except these two. Uh, yeah, before we do that, triple checking. Prices of a few things. Nola is in November, so that's what I want to sell right now. And silage is a bit later, I think. Feb, so we'd have a few months. Uh, so we're going to sleep right now. <clears throat> into... Into... No, uh, yeah, November, so two months. It's one. And that's two. It's a bit too late. I kind of skipped ahead a little bit too much, but yeah, that's good. 
And from here, I want to go visit the Plank Factory, which is right here. Ooh. Whoops. Cool, we have three pallets of this. And my guess is storing these, but it's not storing them here. Wait, how do we have... We have this much wood left. Oh, it's almost one-to-one, -one, so it's going to take us a long time to get through that wood, so that's really nice. I wish I'd been doing this since day one, honestly. I didn't know it was that good. This will be a good amount of money already. This is like... Oh, I know why it's doing this. This will be a good amount of money. I'm going to stack them like this and then put them on the trailer. Uh, probably using a pallet fork at some point. Not quite yet. We're not going to be selling those right now. I don't know when the price is best for those. Um, furniture, June. Okay. So we're going to be stacking those for a few months, and then next summer we can sell. Cool. All right. We're going to grab the trailer now to transport the grain. Canola goes down the road, so it's really going to be quick to sell everything. That is still in the way. It's funny, but that's fine. I don't need it. Actually, we're also going to want to check. Maybe this... It's fermenting to 100% already. That's crazy fast. It should be resi uh, ready in this month. So that means whenever we sell this, we might as well empty the silo and make twice the money. Honestly, we're going to be pretty rich here. Um, to be completely honest... Uh, we should be able to oops, buy quite the tractor upgrade, I'm hoping. It won't be a new tractor. It will have to be used. But, uh, yeah. It should be quite powerful. I'm hoping I can find a pretty good... Um, actually, I might as well look at the things now. We have some crazy wide machines that we don't need. Like this and that. That is huge. It's one of the modded ones that I have. This one is, unfortunately, too small for the price. Um, this price is not worth it for 113 horsepower. It is Fent. Fent is usually more expensive for... Not necessarily more power, but more comfort, for sure. I don't need comfort. I need power. So we're going to look into cheap used John Deere equipment, maybe. I would like a case tractor, but if we can't find that, or close to 300 horsepower, then John Deere might be the call. Because once we have one almost 300 uh, horsepower tractor, we're pretty much good for life. We can keep buying upgrades for the rest of the equipment once we have that. But until we do, we can't really buy much bigger equipment, because we're going to start struggling to really use it. I'm not under the thing, and that's annoying, because this tractor won't back up. The manual gearbox on this one, as I've said before, as good as it sounds, it does act up. Oh, and it's actually because of this bug. Okay, I had to unhook it, that's why. Alright, I'm probably going to time-lapse this. Or simply cut whenever we get to selling, so we'll see what happens with that. First load on the way. Here we go. Took me just about a minute to get here, so it's going to be really quick to go back and forth between the two points. Very nice. Pretty solid. 16,000 from one load. 
And I believe we have, what, five loads, almost? So that's not a bad amount from one harvest. And the next harvest is going to be even bigger. So, honestly, canola is not a bad call. But I would like to get into corn at some point. Um, maybe. It could be pretty interesting to do that. I'm hoping, anyways. I might get into corn and oats. And then put down some bees. Uh, and actually make cereal. Actually do that. Uh, but I would need the mod to buy pallets of grapes. Or raisins. Um, so... Yeah. We'll have to see if that can be val um, profitable. If not, then simple as that. We're just not going to do that. It would be nice to be doing some corn. I would really like to do that. It is very satisfying to harvest. So it's just a matter of, is it, you know, worth it? Is it worth the time? Is it worth the investment? Don't know why I said that word like that. Investment. <laughs> and if it isn't, simple as that. We're not going to bother, but it'd be nice. Even, even if it's not worth the investment for cereal, Doing actual corn and just sell the grain could be pretty good. I don't know why this map has this bug, but it's fine. Oh, we don't have five loads. We only have three loads. Whoops. Well, that might be fine still. It's not a bad haul. Load number two now. Should be about another 16, and then last one as well. So we are gonna be just under 60 something thousand dollars total. Just under. It's not that bad. Last full load, we have about 3,000 extra liters, I think, in the silo or the grain bin. Which I don't really want to bother in transport. That's what, 1200 bucks? Eh. Actually, no, 1800 bucks. I guess we can go and grab it very quick. Not bad. And that's it for this canola harvest. Well, the harvest is done. <laughs> it's been done for a while, but this is the selling done. Very nice. We have all of the silage still to sell. Talking about silage, the new batch should be almost ready now. So next video, we can get the bales all sold, the milk, the cows, I think. Um, then we'll do... All of the silage. And that should get us comfortably into the 200 and something thousand. I'm probably underestimating it. Probably gonna be more, I hope. Um, and that means we can look into upgrading the farm. We can sell some of the grass fields that we have, buy some other fields, I guess. Because I really won't need grass anymore if we get rid of the animals. I'm gonna keep doing grain. Do wood here and there so we can get the furniture to really start making a lot more pallets. And I think we'll focus on that for now. Get some, maybe a planter and a corn header at some point soon as well. A bigger trailer would be nice. The bigger, um, obviously, planter would be really, uh, sorry, cedar, seed drill. Would be really nice to have as well. Because I'm not really looking forward to planting with these ones again All right, it's gonna be a mess here but we're gonna leave that right here all right so next time as i said we're selling all of this we're selling the cows we might even try to get this building all removed i think it can be done it's gonna take me some time but i think it could be done anyways yeah i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did i'll be seeing you very very soon for the next one and until next time, guys, goodbye.